Hi everyone. So today I've got a painting video for you. I've been progressing on my painting. I haven't been posting a lot of videos because quite, because quite frankly it's little tweaks here and there. It's not terribly exciting to watch. But I got to the glass here and I thought I would show you a technique that I use and honestly probably a lot of artists frown on it. But it's really useful and it's simply turning your image upside down so you can see more clearly where you've made mistakes. So that's what I'm going to go, sh I'm going to show you today. And then the next video will show you your mistakes all fixed. That's the plan. So I'm going to lift my camera here so you can see there's my source material. So I'm working from my iPad. I've put the screen lock on and I've turned it upside down and it's much easier to see these negative spaces. I like negative spaces. Negative spaces aren't negative, they're positive places. I could put that on a t-shirt. So here we have this space here, so I can really clearly see this shape. Okay, and I can also see this angle more clearly, especially if I take my paintbrush and hold it up. It's actually, here we go. So what I tend to do sorry about this jiggle, is I would hold it up so the paintbrush is straight and then I can see the space between the paintbrush and the bottle. Okay, so you see that tiny little wedge there. I'm going to put this back so you can see the painting. There we go. So I'm looking at this little wedge here, right there, and now you can see it on the painting. So I can really clearly gauge is this wedge, this little space here, is it too big? Is it too small? Uh, it's much clearer to see. When we see something the right way up, we, we don't analyze it in the same way. And so when we look at an image upside down, it kind of removes it, it abstracts it, and we can look at it a lot more objectively. So that's one, that's one thing, because I can see here, so I'm showing you all my mistakes, everyone. So I can see here, so you see this space here and this space here. They're not the same, okay? Much easier to see that on this picture. Now it's an interesting bottle. It's actually kind of almost a square bottle and it's not It'd be better if it were a round bottle in terms of my painting because if I paint it exactly as it is here, it's actually not going to look right. So I'm going to make it symmetrical. It's not actually perfectly symmetrical in the photograph. I'm going to change it. So I, that's one little switch I've got to do. Okay. Now another thing to look at is the base here. So look at this curve. So we're talking about tangents. So if you're talking to your kids about math these days, why do I need to know a tangent? For art, my dears, you need to know tangents for art. So, if I have my paintbrush going straight across, again, see this wedge here, and see this wedge here. Now they're symmetrical, at least. Okay. Let's see, are they the same? Yeah, they're pretty close. So again, I'm looking at this negative space here, right in there. Yep, they're looking really pretty good. So I know I've got this curve correct. It's a lot easier to judge if I give myself this great reference point. Okay, and uh, let's see what else I'd like to measure. Oh, let's check the bottle before I start to finish all these little details and going to the trouble. This shape here, this curved shape. How's that looking? Alright, that's looking pretty good. You see how it's almost flat? It changes actually quite a bit. This is quite curved. This is not so curved. Our instinct would be to make it the same, okay. but we want to double check that. Yeah. So no, not quite so curved because it's a this is a point of view. Uh, what else do I want to check? Oh yeah, let's check the height of the bottle, the the neck. I'm gonna go from here to here. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, four five, give or take. Okay, so the neck of the bottle is about a quarter. So there's one, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, and then I have the base there. So I'm actually doing pretty well there. 
the last thing that's important to check is the symmetry. So we checked our angle, we've checked the tangents for the curve. Let's make sure that the neck of the bottle, which we've checked to make sure is in proportion, is that actually in the middle of the bottle? Okay, that's it. So we can put our paintbrush down the middle and I can see, yeah, so that's pretty good. That looks about right. Is this space the same as this space? That's what we want to check. Okay, it just goes up straight. Is the side, this measurement from here to here, from the sides to the center of the brush, or from the side, yeah, to the center of the bottle, the same. I'm doing pretty well. Okay, so those are some techniques you can use on, really on a man-made object, a symmetrical object, to an egg. My favorite. Um, it's not a man-made object, but it is generally symmetrical. And so you want to make sure that you have some symmetry. And so you can remember those techniques and turn things upside down because it really does help to see what's really wrong. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to subscribe. Please leave comments. I love to read them. And uh, as always, message me with any ideas you might have for future, uh, future painting. I'm actually going to be starting another one when this is done. I don't know when, when this is, um, is going to be done, though. Uh, I'm going to work slowly away at this. All right. Thanks again for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. There we are. Oh, dear. Some, one of these days. Oh, that's my daughter clapping in the background. I've got to put some makeup on or something. Okay.